Hey guys, as I promised in my last video, today we will talk about how to fix Chrome OS. And by how to fix Chrome OS, I mean how to fix issues like Wi-Fi not working, Bluetooth, touchpad, touchscreen and so on. Also, something that a lot of people ask me how to do is how to mount internal drives. As you probably know, by default, Chrome OS doesn't recognize other internal drives. But uh, luckily there is also a fix for that and uh, you will see it in this video. And another issue that I will cover is how to change the kernel version. This is an important topic if you have a 10th or 11th gen Intel CPU or AMD Ryzen 4 gen or higher. If you have one of these processors then you probably got stuck at logo or in boot loop while trying to install Chrome OS. So now I will show you a way how to fix this as well. Let's jump in Chrome OS and get started. Okay. First is changing the kernel. When you are at this point, press the E key to open the branch configuration menu. Here, with the arrow keys, navigate to this particular line between the words kernel and boot and type 5.10. When you are done, press F10 to reboot your system. This command should change your kernel version from the default 5.4 to 5.10. Okay, that was for kernel. Now that we are in Chrome OS, let's see what we have to do to fix our other issues. Open the browser, search for branch framework and click on the first link from GitHub. Here, scroll down at troubleshooting and then go to framework options. The first option that we see here is enable updates. But before you do this, check out my previous video about updating Chrome OS. Here you will find out what are the pros and cons for this method and what other ways to update Chrome OS safely are out there. I recommend watching this video first because this method with enable updates is not the best. It's actually the worst from the three methods that I presented in uh, this video. As you can see on this list, there are a bunch of options for a bunch of problems. For example, if your Wi-Fi card is the problem, then here are some solutions. If you don't know what type of card you have, for example, then you can check this in Windows, at Device Manager, Network Adapters. Okay, so let's say that you found the option that you need. Next step is to open cross shell. This you make by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T. Here, first type in shell, followed by the command sudo edit dash branch dash config and press enter. This will open the branch configuration menu. Here, you have to navigate with the arrow keys, right at this point after options and equal sign and type in or paste the option that you want for example mount internal drives you can type this or paste it and if you want to add another option for example like this one with the brightness advanced alts you can copy it and next to mount internal drives type comma and paste the next option so it will be mount internal drives, comma, advanced alts. Okay, I don't want to mount uh, the drives. I guess it will take long in my case, but I will leave uh, for this tutorial, I will leave this uh, advanced alts uh, command. So I erase the first option and leave this one. To save this, first we have to press Ctrl plus O and then enter to confirm and Ctrl plus X to exit. And here, press any key to reboot. Okay, so now after reboot, when I go back in the branch configuration menu, as you can see, the option advanced alls is saved. So this should be also in your case with whatever option you choose. And like I said, if you want to learn how to update Chrome OS the safe way, you can click on the video from the left side. 
and if you want to learn how to install Chrome OS directly from USB without Linux Mint or Grub to win, then check the video from the right. And while you are at it, it will be very helpful for me and I will appreciate it very much if you would press the logo in the middle to subscribe. Cheers.